Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Wow. Right. Um, I just always wonder about the father figure part. I was, was you know? going to ask about, so your grandmother, did, did, was she in the different relationships as well? Yeah, my, my her mom was, you know, down on... Um, Harry, Harry Hines, not Harry, not Harry Hines, but but yeah, 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 close. Uh, but she, she ran bars and, and she was a. In, that's what um, I was just. I, yeah, I had to say that's that. all. All she did and and she was a drunk. She drank. I mean, she'd babysit me and drink a whole bottle of vodka in wow. in in a night. Um, you know, just it, my uncle. He raised himself, which is her wow. son. You know wow. that. That's why they. You know, my my mom's sister had two kids. By the time she was 15, already had two mm. kids. My mom had me, so all three of us were raised normal. together. Yeah, and, and so it, it, it was, they didn't care. You just, I mean, and, and, and I think that's what made me the dad I am to be. Yeah. I'm almost too involved. I can't go to sleep at night unless I know where all three of my kids are. They're yeah. safe. I, I just, I trip yeah. out. It, it usually, it does take a different toll on different people. Like it'll mm -hmm. totally wreck. Mm -hmm. opposite you know you get a total opposite reaction a lot of times when somebody go through a lot and when finally the one person that that it it triggers something in them to say i'm not going to be that way uh, well i was the second person on both sides of my family just to graduate high school wow the second person uh, i had an uncle on both sides that both graduated high school and then i did wow. and then we've had cousins now my daughter graduated college austin's graduated college my younger son he'll graduate i mean wow. it's just you got to change the pattern that's but what made you but what what made you make up your mind to say that I'm not going to be like them? Basketball and, okay. and, and, and sports and cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, <laughs> they, they kept me going. I, yeah. I, I didn't care nothing about school, and I could have quit school, and it would have <laughs> been okay. My family would have been fine. I, I, my dad resented me for graduating high school in huh? ways. Yeah, he, he. I thought I was better than everybody, cause I, oh, yeah, and, and then I yeah, went to college yeah. and hooped, and, and, and he just, you know, you're better than me. And then... You know, we raised, my wife and I have had two black kids that have lived with us who parents didn't want them. Well, my dad and granddad, now them are from the old school and when it comes to that. I mean, my granddad didn't want a black person coming into our house. That's yeah, how yeah, bad yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, but I was always different because that, that man, Mr. Keller at Eastgate, taught me to be different. And so. Thank God for, yeah. for Mr. Keller. <laughs> yeah. Well, my wife and I just, you know, if. We'll take anybody in if we really feel they needed it, and we, right. we've helped we've helped raise a couple of kids and and that weren't ours, and that's just what we do because mm -hmm. people help me, and I feel like you always got to give back. You can't right. forget where you came from, and you got to help. If nobody helped me, I'd be in prison right now, dead. That's mm -hmm. right. Who knows? But well, God put people in people's life to create changes, and it's a chain reaction that is not for the moment right now and it could be mm -hmm. but it's really for down the line you see how many more people that person could help yeah exactly i i think you you, you you're just describing uh a lot of times you know poverty you you're describing things that happen in a lot of not only white but black hispanic it yeah. happens in families all the time it because does. But because of a lot of time dysfunctionalities that stream mm -hmm. from your background. Generational so, sin, I, as we always say. We ain't going to say curse, right? No, I didn't Since say Mr. curse. Since Mr. Lee said, Mr. Lee says not us. a curse. Right. Yep. But it is generational sins, and you do have to stop it at some point. Yep. But so, you have to want to change, because some people just automatically fall into it. I've seen where kids say, um, my, my mom used to always get abused, so I'm not going to be like my dad when I get older, but they end up just like him. They fall they into it. They fall they right fall into, into it. it. Yep. So I think, so hearing your victory story, I should say, how is it that, I'm still trying to go back to that, how can that person who is listening, who find themselves going into something not meaning to and made up their mind that I'm not going to be like this person but still seeing traits or not, mm -hmm. even, not even be noticing that they're going through the traits? Oh, it happens, you know, and, and I, you know, I had to, I could easily fall into to getting high and, and doing all that, but it just it, it just wasn't for me. I I, I wanted um, you know I remember I was a really good soccer player when I was little. I played for the Eastgate Gators, was hey. they were a team, and but my dad the night before or the day before picked me up, and he was about my mom's, and he took me to a to a nude bar and I drove there in seventh grade and, mm. and he took me in and made them let me come in and then he tells me to go put money in up there and they kick us out and he goes crazy cops are coming and and but the next day I had a soccer game and he's so hung over 
that he tells me I have to quit the team when I get there. He goes, I'm going to take you to the game, but you got to quit. And I go play the game. He sleeps the whole time. I end up scoring like three or four goals, had a great game. I go to the car. He didn't want to hear how my game was. He says, so did you tell him you quit? And I'm like, no, I didn't tell him I quit. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, but that's – I was never getting, I never wow. missed a game of Austin's. I never missed a game of my other son. I missed some cheerleading stuff with my daughter, but my wife handled that. Yeah. But, I, you know, it's just, I think there needs to be a parent in the stands and they wow. need to know you're there to support them um, if you can. If you have to work or something, that's another thing because you're supporting them in another way. Yeah. But, you know, if you're getting messed up and all that other stuff, then, you know, you need to check yourself. I love that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.